Next, we're going to winterize a Woodford riser. Here's a typical Woodford riser. This is where your water main from underground connects. Here's where your plumbing connects for the home. These come in all different lengths, depending on your frost line. You want to make sure this riser is designed to get beyond the frost line. Okay, so here we have a Woodford riser. This one's outside of the home. Sometimes they're underneath the home, just beyond the skirting, case by case. We're, we're acting like there's no electricity to this home. So at the same time, this applies to a vacant lot. So you have a water riser on a vacant lot. This is the process you have to go through. Now we've loosened up these fittings for time on this video. Always leave your meter attached to the home. He's taking the 90 off. He is going to be removing the stinger, the heat rod for the Woodford riser. These plug into electrical outlet underneath the home and that keeps your riser from freezing in the winter. If you don't have electricity, that riser will freeze and break. So you got to winterize it. Okay, he's making sure the water's off and then there's a little nut around that spigot that holds your sleeve that holds the stinger or heat rod. That sleeve is encapsulated so no water actually gets to your heat rod but it transfers the heat enough to keep it from freezing. Next he's opening up the water line. You see some coming out of that area and now he is going to apply the fitting that actually had the hose bib on it for the house. We've taken the hose bib off that's a three-quarter inch male fitting, fits right in there. And now he's going to hook air up to it and blow it out. You want to keep going till there's no water coming out. Now you can do this with a tank like this that if you don't have electricity to hook it up to, you run it at the shop, the tank gets full, that's more than enough air to go to a vacant lot to winterize these. So now he's going to take this fitting off, which you'll reuse. He's going to fill the riser up with antifreeze, RV antifreeze. And you're going to keep filling till you see it coming out of the spigot side. And there it's coming out. Okay. Next step, he's going to put a cap on this so water just doesn't rain going down in there and he's going to put this sleeve back in place and now your riser is winterized the stinger or heat rod go in the home or take it to the shop if it's a vacant lot tag it for that lot and when you're ready to put a home on the lot you'll have the stinger